Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be one of the tea baskets and I realize that um, as I've gotten busier I haven't been recording any of the tea basket videos so I thought I'd go ahead and do that. The premise of a tea basket, much like the makeup baskets, uh, you essentially go through your collection, pull out some teas that you would like to concentrate on, and um, not to say you don't that I don't drink other teas throughout the uh, week, but I make it a point to concentrate on drinking these teas. Uh, this method has been um, pretty effective in going through um, some of the teas I have. Um, so I've got my basket here. I try to pull teas out that kind of represent all varieties of tea. Um, so the first thing I have in the mornings, I always like a black tea. Um, this is uh, Argo Tea uh, Najiri uh, tea Black, and I know I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, it's an Indian black tea. It's a very thick um, tea with, it, it's got a lot of dimension to this, meaning that it's not just a, your basic um, orange pico or something like that. It definitely has a, um, I don't know, a, a very, a, a more complex flavor is how I would describe this one. Um, but that one's really good. I always like a chai tea. So I have this tea from Par Avion tea, a vanilla chai. These are tea bags. The thing with this tea, okay, so these are what the tea bags look like. And this tea is kind of touted to be um, a more high, like a higher end tea. It's sold in a lot of luxury boutiques and hotels. And actually that's where I initially heard of it was in a hotel. But the thing is their tea, they, they don't actually, I don't think that, and I could be wrong, but I know that one of their teas I found being sold by another company at a lot cheaper price. I think that a lot of their teas they're getting just from a, um, uh, like a, just a tea distributor maybe. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but I know I have found one that was being sold by another company. So I feel like, you know, duped to pay more when really the same tea is out there for a cheaper price. Okay, this one is one I've been wanting to use up. It's Harney and Sons Paris. Um, nothing wrong with it. It's a black tea, kind of in the same vein as um, like a bergamot with some vanilla. Uh, it's okay. It's just not my favorite. As far as an herbal tea, I want to actually, I'm going to, I've got a little bit left. I'm going to make this as an iced tea. It's uh, for tea's sake, mango tango. And um, so it's just a herbal tea. It smells very reminiscent of, um... Tivana has an orange blossom tea. It's, it's very similar, almost identical. Um, okay, this one too. Um, Argo, or um, Adagio tea, Capricorn. This one's actually really good. It's a black tea blended with white tea, which is a different type of combination. It's got coconut and apples. So it's like a vanilla coconut, but with that black tea and vanilla. And the tins are so cute. They open up. It looks like that. And then that's what the tea looks like in there. So it's it's actually a really, really good tea. All of the Zodiac teas I've had, I've, I've had the Leo because I'm a Leo. All the Zodiac teas I've had have been phenomenal. Last one is an herbal for the evening. It is Tazo Cinnamon Chalet Apple Cranberry Rooibos. Uh, not my favorite, so I just, I want to I just want to use this one up and be done with it. So that's it. Those are the teas that I'm going to concentrate on drinking for this week. If you have any questions, leave those below, and I'll be back with another uh, video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.